Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired, a special little episode for you guys today. I'm going to be making a British Indian restaurant classic, the Bindi Bhaji. Now I've simplified it and I'm going to show you little tips and tricks to get it to that restaurant quality. So if you enjoy what I do, make sure to press the like button, interact with me in the comment section and press the bell icon so when I release new videos, you'll be first to get it. Now let's crack on with this amazing restaurant quality curry. I've got all the ingredients ready. Look at these amazing ingredients. Green chilies, fantastic, nice and spicy, and brings out some lovely flavors. Kasuri methi, and I've got this ginger garlic paste, guys. I've got this recipe on my channel. However, I'll be redoing this for, to make it nice and simple for you guys to follow. This is a game changer. Spices are ready, fresh to, uh, pulp tomatoes. Now, very popular this is, bindi, bindi bhaji lovely textures and flavors if you haven't had this before you're going to have to follow my recipe it's got a weird texture in the middle sort of um i'm going to use the word which isn't very popular slimy gooey but it's very um nutritious healthy and, and a vegetable that you need to try so if you follow my recipe you're going to have the most amazing flavor if you haven't had it before so now i'm going to top and tail these now when it's when it's cut to sort of about two inch it stays whole, it looks nice, and it's also lovely in texture. Sometimes people just cut it into smaller pieces, but I like it like this. This is how we serve it at the Indian restaurant. I just wanted to take a little bit of time just to explain bindi. I really enjoy bindi, and if you haven't had this before, I mean, the outer bit is a little bit tough, but inside, is nice, soft and gooey. Not to put you off about the word gooey, it's such an unusual taste and texture and flavor. Once you try this, you're gonna be definitely wanting more. This is very popular South Asia, Africa and America as well, when they have those gumbos and stuff like that. This is gonna be very appetizing. You're just gonna be wanting to taste this behind the screens, I promise you. Now let's make this amazing Bindi Bhaji. Right, to cook this bindi, you're gonna to need to deep fry it first. So you're gonna need about 750 mils of oil, vegetable oil, rapeseed oil, groundnut oil, sunflower oil, it's perfectly fine. So deep fry it, what that does, it just keeps the texture of the bindi intact because what bindi is sort of soft and it can break away and become mushy. Some people like that, however, uh, in the restaurant, I want it to look aesthetically pleasing for our customers as well and that flavor and texture it just gives another dimension to the bindi i promise now let's make this amazing bindi bhaji so here are the bindi make sure the oil is nice and hot you can always test the oil i found a little seed so you whack it in if you can see it there it just come to the rise to the top now that's ready now let's whack this in Bismillah. Right, I'm cooking this at a very high heat. So if you're cooking at home, cook about 200, 250 degrees Celsius oil. Now this normally takes a few minutes and as, you, as you're aware, people who eat bindi, you can get bindi from local supermarkets these days. It comes in frozen, so all you've got to do is defrost it, flash fry it again, similar to this, but when it's frozen it's more softer, whereas when it's fresh the texture is like night and day, very different. So all I want, the, all I want is to do is slightly become nice and golden and what that, what that does, it sort of seals it and keeps it intact when it goes into the curry. Look at that. Looks beautiful. So this has taken a good five minutes to fry. We don't want to overcook the vegetables. This is perfectly fine. This should keep its shape. Sieve out the oil. Up 
Like most people get scared about deep frying because there's a lot of oil that you're going to be left over with. However, what we're going to do with this, we can reuse this on the cooking, so it should be perfectly fine. Right, so I'm reusing this oil, so two. This is four tablespoons of oil. If you use less oil, you're going to need a water next to you so you can drizzle a bit of water. You don't want the spices and everything to become burnt. When the oil heats up, we're going to be adding this one teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds and two bay leaf for lovely aromatics and flavour. Bismillah. I love that little sizzle. Now it's on a low heat, I'm just going to put it on a medium high. Now the chopped onions go in. So one medium sized onion which is about one cup. Now when this becomes nice and golden we're going to put some ginger and garlic in. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit more oil. I want that fried onion flavour. So that's about five tablespoons of oil. The smell of fried onion, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. Very aromatic already. Now the onions have become slightly golden in colour. This normally takes about five to eight minutes. Now I always use a ginger and garlic paste if it's green in colour if you're wondering. I've got this recipe on the channel so make sure uh, I put a link on the description box you can go and see it. I also make a new video of this. This is a lovely aroma and the flavour. So one good heat tablespoon of ginger and garlic going in guys. Wonderful. Can you see it there? We just want that rawness of the ginger and garlic to go and then we're going to add the next ingredients. Now I like it nice and spicy so these are green chilies. It's not too hot uh, so make sure you taste the chilies if you can. If you don't like it too spicy sometimes these can have too much spice so be careful. So this is about six green chilies that I've just sliced up. Wonderful. The ginger and garlic is caramelizing beautifully. Now we're going to reduce the gas and if you can see the caramelization, it's beautiful. It smells divine, that ginger and garlic gone in, that fried flavour, beautiful. So I've reduced the gas as you can see. Now I'm going to add the spices and when you add the spices, you don't want the spices to become burnt so you, you need to reduce the gas. Here are the spices, two Kashmiri chilli powder. The difference with the normal chilli powder, that's too hot. However, the Kashmiri chilli powder is more milder in flavour and brings out an amazing colour. If you haven't used Kashmiri chilli, make sure you do. Two teaspoons gives it a nice flavour. And if you like it hot, just add maybe one more teaspoon of normal chilli powder. This is ground coriander powder, two teaspoons, about one teaspoon of turmeric and one and a half teaspoon of salt. Salt to taste, guys. So I've used about half a kg of bindi. Hence, I'm used about one and a half teaspoon of salt. So, just a, about a minute or less than a minute, you just whack it into that hot oil. It just wakens it up. Look at that amazing colour. Beautiful. Now, for a nice little gravy consistency, this is about two medium sized uh, tomatoes just whizzed it up in a blender with a little bit of water. So this goes in. So we need to cook this and take the rawness out so it brings out a lovely flavour of that tomato. So this can take about five to eight minutes. So now crank up the heat to a high, keep an eye on it 
and we're going to wait until the oil separates uh, from the ingredients. Right, to cook the tomato, and if you want to have a nice little gravy to your uh, bindi, add some water now. I'm just going to add a drizzle of water just to cook out the tomatoes because it's still got that bit of rawness in there. So this is about half a cup. You can use one cup of water if you wish. I just want all these flavours to marry up together. That's why I've added the water. If you if people might use vegetable stock here or chicken stock, try to stay away from the stocks because the stocks are very salty. You don't want it to be salty. So a few more minutes cooking time on a high heat should cook out that tomato to that flavour that I'm trying to get. Beautiful. Now the piece de resistance, the main event. This is the bindi. Now it's nice and cooked as I said to you. It, I'm promising you that it's going to hold its shape and it's going to have that lovely soft uh, flavour in the middle. So they go in. Amazing. Beautiful. You're going to need to try this amazing ingredient if you haven't already. Let me show you. So the bindi is already cooked, now I want all that flavour just to get stuck into that bindi and penetrate the bindi. Wonderful, I lowered the gas before so I'm going to put it on a medium high and just for more flavour and a fantastic umami, this is the kasuri dried methi. So we're adding one good teaspoon, you can add a tablespoon if you like that taste. Now this is grand cumin, now I'm adding about half a teaspoon, again just for a bit of flavour, that's it. Give it a little whirl. Now let this simmer on a medium high heat for a few minutes and then it will be ready. That simple guys, restaurant quality food made at home. Right, I'm actually really excited. So I want to show you this. Right, just look at this. This is amazing. The oil has separated. The lovely green bindi. As I said to you, it's, it's kept its shape. I mean, look at that. Isn't, isn't this just amazing? Now you can actually have this at home and this would be better than your Indian restaurants. Apart from when you come to Latif's, obviously. We're the Grand Masters. Bindi Baji. Beautiful. Fresh coriander. Amazing. Wow. Right, I'm actually really excited, and I promise you, I am excited. Uh, when you've got good food in front of you, it just something about it, it just makes you feel happy. Now, this is one of those comforting dishes. Now, let me show you. I need to show you this. This is amazing. Now, just deep frying it at the beginning. It's kept its lovely shape and all that flavor intact. As I said at the beginning, it's not that gooey. And I'm going to use the word slimy. So I know people get off put by that. However, this is absolutely gorgeous. I promise you. It's kept its shape and the texture and the flavor is all intact. So this is still hot. It's got a lovely little thick gravy. Now the, cur the difference between a bhaji and a gravy, curry is when it's got that sauce. When it's a bhaji, it's, it's not normally as wet as this if we're cooking it at home. But in the restaurant, we just use a bit of a gravy. That's why I use those tomatoes. Now, bismillah. Oh my God. Those textures and the flavors. Delicious. Still got that gooeyness. It's got that lovely little crunch. We flash fried it for about three to five minutes because it's fresh bindi. Cooked it in that sauce a few more minutes, less than 10 minutes cooking time. 
so it's got that al dente the word that I need to use oh this is amazing yep a bit of rice or some roti gorgeous now, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon for brand new videos not notified to you. And interact with me in the comment section. I do read them. And if there's any dishes that you want me to cook, I'll definitely oblige. Now, I'm also on different social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Rumble, all of these social uh, and TikTok. So make sure to uh, subscribe to those social media platforms as well. And if you want to see more fantastic videos, Make sure you stay tuned for the next episode. See you soon.